What is really good everyone, this is Mayhem here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the solo easter egg on the custom zombie map Leviathan. Whether you're doing this solo or co-op, you can use this tutorial for the very first portion of the steps. Now the solo easter egg can only be completed up to a certain point. Um, you do get a reward, but if you want to continue on to where you get the final reward plus end game, you need four players to finish this, which I will pick up where the video leaves off with four players completing the final steps of the Easter egg. Now, this does give you a pretty awesome reward, so it's definitely video worthy. So I'm going to go ahead and start this off. A couple things to keep in mind, guys. Very big key factors here with this tutorial is that you need to have Tunnel 11 bare minimum dug out. Um, there is an object in Tunnel 11 that's on top of the glass. Once it's dug out, it's now on the floor, and we need that for the Easter egg. Now, I personally don't care if every portion of the map gets dug out. So that would be Tunnel 6, Tunnel 11, and the Biodome. This map was made to play underwater, so if it digs out, don't worry about the hacker. Not as essential as it is in Moon. It does everything that it does in Moon, but it just seems like this map plays better with everything excavated. You will need QEDs. You will need Gersh's, and you will definitely need the hacker for the steps as well. So let's get this baby rolling. Right now I'm in the power room. If you don't know how to get to the power, please check out my other video. I'll put an annotation on the screen. Probably already been there. But definitely check out the power tutorial if you don't know how to get it. And also the thunder punches. If you do not know how to obtain the thunder punches or the one inch punch, please watch that video because that is another key factor in this Easter egg. Now you don't need it. So early as me, but you know, that's how you get your free perks is with these guys. So, all right, let's, let's get this baby rolling here. So leaving the power room, there's a, there's a door over here that I've left closed. Be right here. It says observation. The observation room is where it all starts. All right, basically, this is a cat and mouse portion of the Easter egg right here. Um, one really cool effect of this Easter egg is where if you don't want to watch all the spoilers, you hear noises like this. Like most Easter eggs, you hear some sort of indication that something's going on. You're supposed to do something. But anyways, in this case, there are four panels all around the tube dude there. What we must do is engage these panels and hack them, and then we must find their corresponding switch hidden somewhere throughout the map. Now there are, I don't know, dozen, maybe two dozen of these switches. Um, so I'm gonna show you the ones that show up in my game. They will be different for your game. So it is a little bit of a cat and mouse game. You wanna make sure you have pretty much all the map unlocked so you can go through and, and, and just locate these switches. It can kind of be a pain in the ass, but it's very doable. So I'm gonna go find mine. I will show you where mine are, but it, remember it will be different your game. All right, my first one was located right by Mule Kick in the office of the laboratories, right by where you find the artifact. If you listen, that beeping noise, you can track them down fairly easy by that. So just keep your ears open, turn the music down, whatever you got going on, and just listen. But basically, we just come up here, press the button, and make our way back to the tube, dude, and initiate the next control panel. So now back in the observation room, we have a green light on this panel, which it was red before. I'm gonna kill this guy, fire sale. But uh, it was red before, and now we have this beeping. So we press it, hack it, listen for a direction. All right, my second one was in this docking station looking room that has a box location and also PhD flappity flap, which uh, if you don't know where it is, there it is, guys. Some people don't know where it's at. But rinse and repeat, guys. We press it. It is green. Now we have to go hack the opposite uh, 
side of the control panel and get the next one started. All right, we're back at the dube tube room, and we will rinse and repeat. See if I hear any hints from here. My third one was located in the spawn room, just next to the starting rifle there. And I'm in 14, drawing a blank. <laughs> Go ahead and press it. One thing to keep in mind as well, guys, is uh, some of these can be outside in the water, and they are a little hard to see. And the reds actually kind of, or a little hard to hear, and the reds actually kind of hard to see as well. So you know, sometimes you just gotta scour to this map. Turn it upside down until you find it. So we're going to go uh, get our next panel activated and move on to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and activate my very last control box there. I'm going to hack it. And then get this last one found and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so my last one is underwater in Tunnel 6 because I had Tunnel 6 excavate. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I say it's uh, it's a little hard to see the red glow. It wasn't too hard here, but it is a little hard to see it. Alright, that's our last one. We'll make our way back into observation and see what the dude has to say. Good work. Now my connection to the station is stable. But the state is part that is keeping me alive. Is running low on power. I have been trapped in here for months, alone in this place since the incident occurred. There must be a source of power that you can bring me. I remember hearing the scientists talk about a resupply cell that crashed into the base. Maybe what we need is somewhere in its vicinity. So what he's talking about here, guys, is the reason why we needed Tunnel 11 excavated. There is uranium now in Tunnel 11. It's the crystal-looking orb that is sitting in Tunnel 11 at this moment. We have to bring it to him, but it's not that easy. The uranium has to stay wet, otherwise it will explode in your hands and red screen you. So there are, there are a few different paths that you can take. The easiest path that I have found personally is through Tunnel 11... You blow out the windows in the laboratory, and then you go past um, Speed Cola, and then through Tunnel 6, and right in here to him. You will see the path that I take, but I just wanted to tell you firsthand that's how it goes. Alright, we're here in Tunnel 11, and here is the uranium that we must take to the dude. Now remember, this thing cannot dry off. When you pass through some air chambers, you'll hear a loud screeching noise. If it does dry off, it'll pop, explode, make you red screened. If you become, if it explodes, you just have to come back up, pick it back up, and take it back. But remember, if you take the path that I take, you will not need to worry about it because it stays wet almost the entire time. But you do have to make sure that Tunnel 6 is excavated, obviously Tunnel 11, and that you breach the laboratories by throwing a grenade on the floor by a window or on a window itself. So let's go ahead and get this route out of the way. So you can hear it right there whistling, like bleeding your eardrums, and uh, it gets even louder if you're longer in an area without any water. But this path is fairly simple, so. And again, like I said earlier, I kind of feel like um, this map was meant to be played underwater. You can see I do have a PES system now. I put my hacker up. It's not needed for a while. I can't even remember if it's really needed for any more of the solo steps, but I guess we'll see when we get there. Go back through Tunnel 6 here, which you can see is dug out, which is my favorite place to run circles as well. I like to hack this, uh, hack that gun there. That way I can buy upgraded ammo for little to nothing. All right, here we go. Power to the stasis pod is fully restored. Thank you. The effect the virus has on my body and mind should now be slowing. But we still need the cure. The scientists are close to a breakthrough before the base was overrun. An ancient energy source hidden deep in the earth. If you can generate this energy and bring it to me, my body will be a host for the cure. Okay, he kind of hints a little bit about origins there. He talks about an ancient energy, which are the generators. It's just like the generators from origins. Basically, you got to stand on this uh, platform while it fills up with element 115. That is the ancient energy he is talking about. 
Now, this is just outside Tunnel 6, right next to Feed Cola. Now, the way that this works, though, and I've made the mistake my first time, is you actually do not have to kill anything while you're out there. You just have to stand on the platform, just like in Origins, and wait for it to fill up. Now, it will take a while, and the zombies just they just spawn out of nowhere, kind of like kind of like it is in Origins is again. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to kill anything. Obviously, if it's in your way, send it straight to hell. But let's go ahead and get that started. Again, back all the way through here at past Tunnel 6. And remember, if you're playing co-op, you guys should have some decent upgraded guns because it can get a little sketchy up on this platform. This is the platform right here. Once you step foot on this, it initiates the, you know, the, the charge up of this generator right here. So just be prepared because all hell will break loose. As you can see, they're spawning out now. It takes a while to fill up, so I'm going to go ahead and get this full and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, now that we got that step completed, as you can see, the chamber is completely blue, full of, full of energy, souls, element 115, whatever it is, not souls, obviously. But now we have this glowing yellow orb right in front of it, and this is where the one-inch punch comes to play. Now, you're going to punch this around the map, and it stops like 10 or 15 times. Um, so just punch the crap out of it. I will show you every location that it stops at just so you have an idea of where it's at it's gonna be a lot of cutting and splicing but uh i'm not gonna chase this i'm not gonna make my recording me chasing this thing around the map for 10 minutes so obviously your very first one is right in front of the station when you punch it you can kind of see the path that it takes so you just want to head that general direction just like now just flew to the labs and it is just past the door to the labs just past b cola all right, now we're right outside the labs. Uh, PhD Floppers just passed this walkway there, but is now on the steps here. Just up those steps there, there's a, uh, a, a moon lander right over here. And it's right outside here. Now we're out in the water by the MP5 and by Deadshot Daiquiri. Inside the cafeteria where Juggernaut is. Tunnel 11 right next to the AK-74 for you, right by where the uranium was. Just below the aquarium and in front of the biodome. Inside the biodome. Back outside by Deadshot Daiquiri and the MP5 just little bit off over to the side from where it was originally just outside the cafeteria where juggernaut is just outside the cafeteria in tunnel two i believe this is tunnel two again same tunnel two now we're in the room where the pm 63 is this is kind of on your way to the power switch Back over in the spawn room. This is just before we go outside by the MP5 and Stamina Up. Now this is outside by Stamina Up and the MP5. Then it will be in the room just past there. Down the hall, right in front of the M16. Power room. And now right in front of the observatory. And now inside the observatory. Now this is just inside the habitat. And then heading right back in from the habitat back into the observatory. And our last punch right in front of the dude. That was not our last punch. My mistake. We're back in tunnel six now. Here we are right in front of the dude. And there you have it. Upgraded Thunderfist.
Now, this is where the four-player step is going to pick up from. Basically, from four players here on, you got to be able to push these switches. And there you have the ending epic quote for the solo Easter egg, because we cannot push these buttons, unfortunately. I wish we could make a big loop around, but uh, yeah, he's not going to let us. But at least we know now, uh, one, how to complete the first step of the Easter egg, and now we have our upgraded fist, which is pretty epic. So that will conclude this portion of the Easter egg. I will have another video out probably within the next day where I'm going to be picking up where I left off. I just have to find four friends. So I will see you then. If you guys had liked this video in any way, shape, or form, if this has helped you out at all, please help me out by leaving a like so other people can find it. As well, if you like videos like these and you want to see more in the future, please subscribe. I'll be making lots of them. All right, guys, this is Mayhem, signing out.